There are some things in this world that go way beyond human understanding. Things that cannot be explained. Things that most people don't want to know about. That is where we come. Do you know what the most frightening thing in the world is? It's fear. We all go a little mad sometimes. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. I'm afraid! Don't be afraid! No. Be afraid. Be very afraid. What an excellent day for an exorcism. It's all true. The boogeyman is real. And you found him. And there's no more room in hell. The dead will walk here. I see dead people. Listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make. They're here. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Ghost Freaking Talking. That's right, Ghost Freaking Talking, your paranormal podcast like none other. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcast. I am your humble host. My name is Nick. And I am Newsroom Nessie. Newsroom Nessie, out of the newsroom. Yes, someone took my spot. Yeah, so sitting in the newsroom tonight is Martha. Uh, I know it's it's wild right <laughs> so if you guys are watching on youtube you can see martha she's sitting in the spread shop newsroom if yeah. you guys don't know what spread shop is spread shop is our merch shop you can go and get yourself some ghost freaking talking gear kind of like the shirts we're wearing here tonight um and uh big news is that we actually had someone that is not family <laughs> Go out to our merch shop and buy something. Not family. Yeah. Oh, no, uh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. We had a, a lady write to us on uh, YouTube. She had a very good compliment for us saying that we are a freaking awesome podcast. She likes the show. She likes the show. And she said that's she went awesome. right out and bought a t-shirt. That's even cooler. Yeah. So We thank uh, you. Yeah. Thank you very much for supporting. Definitely love the support. Yeah. Thank you for supporting this podcast. Uh, we are short... Uh, our other co-host, uh, Trent. Yes, we are. He's in some hot water right now with some school stuff. So uh, he's been banned, dun, 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 banned from the show for a little bit. So you guys have both me and Newsroom Nessie uh, doing your paranormal podcast. Well, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be diving into just a single subject here tonight. And we're going to talk reincarnation. And I'm not talking, it was a, it was a carnation instant food or something like that. <laughs> yeah, they make like the milkshakes but for yeah, breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. No, yeah. this is not, it's not that carnation. <laughs> this is reincarnation. And uh, if you guys don't know what reincarnation is, it's basically the fact that uh, once you die, you come back as something else. Um, and whether, you know, you have a past life that you kind of... Uh, a lot of people say that uh, deja vu is a form of, you know, reverting back to uh, your past life. That you've already lived. Yeah. Uh, which hmm. which I don't get is because uh, my thought on de- deja vu is that um, it's basically your thoughts merging in with a parallel universe. More than is a reincarnation thing. So, yeah. so basically, it's like uh, that that time shift happens to where all of a sudden your memories that you've done this already, but you've done it in a parallel universe more than it was because, like deja vu means you you've done it before. Yeah, I wouldn't see deja vu and reincarnation as one and the same. Definitely not. I uh, don't think they're related. Uh, Me personally, yeah, yeah. I don't think they're related. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we, we are on TikTok and I go down these TikTok holes all the time now. And uh, I ended up down in like conspiracy theory TikTok the other day, <laughs> which was a, oh what was a welcome change from, from a uh, swinger TikTok and uh, was it only fan girls. <laughs> so it was in cats. Yeah, and cats. Yeah. I'm still on full, full fledged cats though. <laughs> uh, but um, 
So I went into conspiracy TikTok, and this one guy was like, uh, wh- who's to say that when you die and you see, because everyone talks about seeing a white light, right? Yes. Uh, they say you see a white light when you die. And the guy's like, all right, just give me a second here. He goes, what if that white light you are seeing when you die isn't a hospital light of you being born into a new body? Okay. And that the reason why you come out crying is because uh, you just you're died. Pissed off. Yeah, you're pissed <laughs> off. You just died, right? And uh, and then he started going off more about how you know all these memories get repressed back into your memory because you're a baby now and your brain is refunctioning, uh, re becoming something new. So all these memories are being pressed in behind your head. Hmm. So that when uh, all of a sudden you start remembering shit from like when you were a dog or a fucking antelope or something. <laughs> a giraffe. Or a giraffe, yeah. Right, exactly, <laughs> giraffe. But uh, that uh, these are the memories escaping from your past life. So, yeah, I guess I have a lot of scientific questions about that. <laughs> 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 you know, like, so you're saying like, so that person dies, and then when they die, they're seeing that light. So what is the baby growing in the belly for the nine months? Like, is there no soul in that child until it's, you know what I mean? Until yeah. the other person's dead. Yeah. And then there's that transfer. That There's a lot of questions I have there. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, you know, there, there's loopholes and all this <laughs> Technically. stuff, Technically. Right? Uh, so, you know, so basically, you know, what this guy's theory is saying that you're just a shell while you're in the womb and you have no soul hmm. but then then what we'll, I don't even want to get into the whole abortion thing and how people say that you know you know you can't get, have an abortion after you know two weeks because you've already there's the there, heartbeat yeah, there's a heartbeat and there's yeah. a there's a soul basically well what's a soul you yeah, know what I, I mean? Yeah, it's I a yeah. subjective thing. It's not a tangible thing. So it's yeah. hard to, you know, describe. I guess everybody has a different definition of what your soul is. I mean, it's all kind of the same. Yeah. But. Yeah, yeah. So I was running this this theory past Trent the other day when we were, I was driving him fucking half hour to his fucking work the other day because mm-hmm. we were listening to... Because you're a taxi. Yeah, because I'm a taxi for him on Saturdays that I have him. Uh, but we were talking about it because we were listening to a podcast about reincarnation. And we started talking about energies, Okay. Uh, because my whole theory is the body is an energy. That's basically your soul is your energy. And energy cannot be destroyed, right? Right. So who's to say that energy isn't just uh, placed into something else? Well, the, yeah, it's dispersed elsewhere. Uh, so he brought but up... what? A, but yeah. he brought up a point. He, go, he goes, okay, so, you know, the world started off with Adam and Eve, right? And so there's only two energies there. And they... They have a baby, and boom, you got another energy. Where did that energy come from? I'm like, <laughs> so the, then he goes, so there are billions of people on the planet right now. Where did all these energies come from? You know? Yeah, I don't know, unless you believe that, you know, aliens brought us here as, like, you know, slaves back in the day, you know, and then all of a sudden you have more yeah. people. Yeah. It, it, yeah, aliens. <laughs> back to the aliens. Back to the aliens. It all loops back to the aliens. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, they say energy can't be created nor destroyed. I mean, it had to come from somewhere. All right. And obviously, yeah, I, it's just. Psh. Yeah. Uh, I, so, <laughs> it's just so, crazy to think yeah, about. So what I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna read a few stories here on uh, actual uh, encounters on past life that people have thought that they've had and i was letting you watch this uh this youtube video or whatever before the show yes about this three-year-old kid now you know when it's like older people i kind of poo-poo on it because you've seen movies you've read books you have more outside influence yeah you know but yeah when i mean i have a five-year-old and i couldn't even imagine you know two years ago him coming to me and, you know, claiming he was killed during 9-11. 9/11 yeah. He was a firefighter. He remembers all these details. 
He rejected his name. You were saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. He the, there's a three year old kid. Um, and I'm, I don't even remember his name or whatever. But his uh, his parents said that he had a fear of airplanes, you know, tall, and tall buildings, buildings, and that he would have nightmares, saying that you know he was a firefighter and he was caught in a building that fell down and you know he died in this building yeah um this is this is a three-year-old three three-year-old three yeah year that's old pretty messed kid. up uh, and the parents said well we've never talked to him about 9-11 because Why would re- you? really what kind like of parent is like year old like sitting down with a, a three-year-old and being like all right son so 9-11 yeah i i mean i guess i can understand on the day maybe explaining a little bit of history, but not detail. Yeah, yeah. Not at you three know, years old. Yeah, I mean, fuck. it's a little young. I got, they don't understand I, shit. I got a fucking 12 year old that can't fucking read half the time. You know, <laughs> let alone, you know, you know my six year old sitting her down and having her, you know. Right, have all these memories. Yeah, of, exactly. Yeah, and have all these details. Of yeah, so, and, and it was really weird because this kid, event. the details were like specific equipment. Yeah, like the type of fire truck that was there. Um, which was, you know, yeah. like who would the know breathing, that? The breathing apparatus suits that they they were wearing had a very very specific name, a proximity a, a fire proximity suit. Fi- fire suit or whatever. And this is a three year old saying yeah, that. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So, yeah, he says he was like, you know, this person. No. That got killed, and he was reincarnated, and now he's a three-year-old little boy. Yeah, um, yeah, it's 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 crazy. I guess th- they said the family kind of looked into it or whatever, and I don't know. They wouldn't go into detail about who it was because they don't want to reach out to the family and be like, "Oh, hey, we think your son is reincarnated in our three-year-old little boy. You want to talk to him?" Yeah, like, yeah, that would be a little fucking how messed weird. up is that? Yeah, um, and you know, in like. Uh, you know, we, we watched a show it was in within the shadows or behind the shadows yeah. or whatever. And they, they talk about, you know, reincarnation there because uh you know, she had this love Gregor. Gregor. <laughs> uh what, what's her name? Nadia? Yeah. Uh, Nadja. Nadja. Uh she has a a, a boyfriend throughout the her entire existence all of her lives yeah that, that he keeps dying and he, he gets brought back into another body and stuff like that but he dies the same way every life yeah yeah right he loses his head right he gets his head chopped <laughs> off so i wonder if that's true too yeah um all right uh okay i, I i'm gonna get sentimental here for a second and it's gonna be all lovey mushy stuff but i swear to god that you and me have been together in a past life Yes. Uh, just because, like, when we met, it was like we knew each other, like, totally. Like, uh, you yeah. Yeah, there was definitely a connection there that I've, yeah. Yeah, there, there's a complete connection. For and sure. and it almost felt like I've known you for years. Yeah. No, I agree. Uh, so, who's to say that maybe we weren't? You're my Gregor. Yeah, maybe I am your Gregor. <laughs> Hopefully, my fucking head doesn't get cut off. But. No, let's hope. That's not the case, <laughs> right? So uh, yeah, so like like I said, you know, I've I've totally felt that that we've been together some other time. Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of things to, you know, not just a coincidence, right. you know, just little things. Right. That, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's it's hard to explain, but there's definitely right. that connection there. All right. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick break here, and we're going to come back, and we're gonna read you a couple of stories of people and their uh their reincarnation stories so if you guys can make sure to check out our merch shop once again is spread shop uh ghost freaking talking check out our merch out there right now and if you want your very own ghost freaking talking t-shirt coffee cups and heck even dog bandanas head to the link below all right, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Ghost Freaking Talking. Make sure to go out to our spread shop and get yourself some awesome GFT gear. Also, uh, if you guys can, make sure to reach out to our friend, Mr. Hinkle Draws, at Etsy Shop, Mr. Hinkle Draws, and get yourself some awesome spooky stickers. He's got some awesome ho- classic horror, horror, horror movie people. Yes, he does. Not horrors, horror movie you know, thriller, you know, killers and, you know, dicers and slicers. You know, PG, PG-13. Yeah, he's he's got some awesome stickers out there, but he does, 
you know, he's got also other stickers out there yeah, too. If you guys cool are into stickers. like Nintendo or um, what was it Pokemon or you know all kinds of stuff, you know, he's got some Star Wars stuff out there. So if you guys want to go and check out some awesome artwork and get yourself some very cool fucking stickers, uh, go on and check out Etsy shop Mister Hinkle Draws. All right, guys. So we are continuing our night on reincarnation. And our first story here is called A Midwestern Toddler Recalls Writing Gone with the Wind. From the time he was two years old, a Midwestern child named Lee insisted he had another house and another mommy. By the age of three, he began saying he was born on June 26, rather than his actual birthday of June 21st. Lee claimed his middle name was Ko. He wrote movies for a living and had a daughter named Jennifer. His sister asked him how old he was when he died, and he promptly replied, 48. Lee curious, uh, Lee's curious parents relayed the, the titles of several movies to Lee, asking if he had written them. When they mentioned Gone with the Wind, Lee became enthusiastic. He eagerly claimed he wrote the film. After a quick Google search, Lee's parents learned the writer of Gone with the Wind was named Sidney Coe. Howard. Howard was born on June 26, had a daughter named Jennifer, and passed away at the age of 48. As these details of Coe's life were unknown to Lee's parents, it's unclear how he knew them. This leaves reincarnation as a possible explanation. Yeah, that's pretty weird for such a young child to have, you know. Especially gone with the wind. You know, it remember names oh i have a daughter like what three-year-old says that they have a daughter named jennifer like i've never encountered one <laughs> yeah, you know right? I'm sh- i know kids say all kinds of weird shit but you know to be like so serious about it and yeah, yeah and, I don't know. and for, for him to like it, it's just crazy he's like 48 and he died when he was 48, 48. Years yeah old. there's a lot of details that he got correct like that's just not a coincidence yeah you know it's uh there's something there to it uh so so like does do these stories really make you sit back and think that this is a possibility i mean of course everything's a possibility but i've also heard that there's like a a realm of like information that certain people can tap into and just like know stuff so whether it's something like that or you know truly being reincarnated as you know different people yeah. but still have memories of who you are um, I know one of the stories that you had sent me you know like this kid was proclaiming he was you know this person or whatever and then when he actually met like family members or saw something kind of related to it like he just lost all interest in it yeah. and they said that's a common thing apparently you know because they realize it's not you know things have changed yeah but, I don't know. It's it's very weird. Very crazy. All right, I uh, got another one here. Okay. Um, uh, a, a man. I was shocked. You know, he shocked archaeologists with his knowledge of an ancient city. For his entire life, Arthur was haunted with inexplicable and vivid memories of a city surrounded by a desert and a temple carved into a cliff. One day, while watching a BBC documentary, and I think that's. British, right? British television. Yeah, usually. Yeah, not, the not BBC. big black cock television. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, oh, definitely okay. the the first, okay. not the latter. All right. So one day while watching a BBC <laughs> documentary, so yeah, yeah, it's not a documentary on big black cock, right? <laughs> on television. Oh my gosh! He, definitely not. You saw the city of Petra Jordan. <laughs> to his amazement, the city matched... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> right, Continue. Here. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't mind me. Jeez, you got big black cock in the mind? What's going on here? Stop <laughs> it. You're being inappropriate. Oh, my bad. Uh, the show is I'm inappropriate. I'm just laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, to his amazement, the city matched the one in his head. After uh, Floridell shared his story with several people, BBC reporters contacted him asking to put his story on television. Several archaeologists flew to Petra with Floerdale. 
he recognized landmarks with ease, including sites that had been excavated that have not been excavated yet. When presented with an ancient device, the purpose of which had baffled scholars for years, he offered a plausible explanation regarding its use. After seeing a guard station, Flowerdew recalled that he had died there when he was stabbed with a spear. The experts who accompanied Flowerdell believed his claims of reincarnation, doubting someone would be able to fake or fabricate the uh, the breadth b r e a d t h breadth breadth the breadth yeah. the breadth farve of knowledge he displayed. Uh, Flowerdew uh, maintained yeah, Flowerdew maintained he was never studied the city previously and only heard of it upon seeing it on television. While Floridell could possibly have withheld information regarding his education, many believe this is a true reincarnation story. All right, so okay, this was uh, this was an adult, so you know, there's possibility that he, this guy was fucking lying. Is a crock. Yeah, yeah and uh, he, I mean, there's yeah, he went a free trip to to wherever this Petro Jordan, Petro Jordan, but for him to know how different instruments were used but it said a plausible so it wasn't like oh he knew exactly what it was and like showed us how to use it he said it was like a plausible explanation so yeah i don't know it's you know it definitely it's very interesting um i mean like i said before there's a lot of details that these people supposedly know that how is it a coincidence? So there's definitely something there, but what it is, I don't know. Well, Could be the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's giraffes and Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. On to another one. Swedish woman claims to be the reincarnation of Anne Frank. Yeah, the story's crazy. Uh, Barbro Carlene was born in Sweden in 1954. From the time she could talk, Carlene began telling her parents strange stories about someone named Anne Frank. Carlene claimed she was Anne Frank, that she had nightmares of men kicking in the door of her home and taking her away. Her parents were perplexed, not least because they had no idea Anne Frank was a real person. How the fuck do you not know that Anne Frank is a real person? How do they not know? Yeah. Oh, I mean... That was what in like 1945, and they're in what 1950s. So, oh yeah, you know, okay, okay, roughly yeah. ten years. Yeah, I guess. No internet, so I, yeah, it's probably not super common knowledge, like specific stories. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So no maybe, Google back right, then. Yeah, I'm living in the age of Google now. Yeah, right? there's and, no Google. And, and to think, we fucking lived in the age with no Google. I know. You know, I, you know, I'm going off on a. You know, we'll get back to the story, <laughs> but uh, I, I wish I would have had fucking Google and shit when I had, was in school. Because the fucking internet, I could have cheated so much. I could have cheated <laughs> so much. These it's probably kids. better that we didn't have it because we actually had to work for it. And, you yeah. know, it's I, I'm glad that it wasn't around like it is now back when I was in school. Because Fuck that. It would have made life so much simpler. These kids had no idea of having to fucking read a book and shit. I know. And <laughs> it's it's sad. Ugh. Okay. Got to keep it going. All right. So, but uh, it says Frank died in 1945 in the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp after Nazis discovered her and her family hiding in an attic in Amsterdam. They were trying to avoid persecution for being Jewish. Carlene's parents took her to Amsterdam where she was 10 years old. She quickly led them to Frank's house with no directions, correctly identified a spot on the wall where Frank had hung photos of movie stars and noted that the steps were different than she remembered them. All of this was enough to finally make her parents believe she was really the reincarnation of Anne Frank. And she's been writing books about her experiences ever since. Hmm. Uh, so once again, this was a kid. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a lot of details and especially to like, you know, get to... Amsterdam and oh hey mom dad let me show you to my old house <laughs> you know and she just right. like walks over to where they live and you know has these details about specific posters on the wall like that's a little weird right um there so how does a fucking is this the spirit 
you know, how we, we, we talk about spirits, right? So it, this is just a spirit kind of floating around and just decides just to implant into somebody? Or is it the energy? Do you think a spirit and a soul are the same thing? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Th- I think your soul is your spirit. Like the go- like a ghost is a soul? Yeah. And it's just kind of out there floating around. like. And I, I think like the ones that don't find someone to go into are the ones that kind of stick around and you know people that, those are the ones that so people see and the in my mind people. i see like a line of souls you know obviously we don't see this like it's in a parallel world like in ours but like a line of souls just at the hospital waiting for babies to be born and they just <laughs> yeah. like jump into them yeah, yeah right uh you know they're, they're fighting right for, for, like, i want no, this one no i want this one no i want this one you're up next oh man this one's gonna be poor I don't go on that one. <laughs> oh my god oh my god i was i was an emperor in you know in ancient egypt i don't want to go into a freaking you know hobo's body oh uh, my gosh yeah it's i i don't know i mean i guess energy i guess that's what it is I, yeah it, but how do you <laughs> like memories like I I just have a lot of questions. Yeah, it, it's really crazy and to, to even kind of ponder on some of this stuff. Yeah, even when I studied astronomy, like you know, I'm a. It's awesome. <laughs> There's so much you know knowledge out there, but just like learning about it, it just blows your mind because it's just so vast. You know, like our yeah. our brain can't comprehend. Like, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's just messed yeah, up. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, let's uh, got time for about one more story here, and then we'll we'll call it a day on this this wrap her up. We'll wrap her up like a a BBC, right? <laughs> right? No, <laughs> nothing. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> um, um, uh, this the screenshot that I took uh, kind of <sighs> cut off the actual thing, but uh, this kid thought he was a fucking Hollywood agent uh, in a past life. Oh. Uh, in 2009, at the age of four, Ryan Hammonds began w- uh, waking up, clutching his chest, and screaming about how his heart exploded in Hollywood. Wow. His mother, Cindy, became intrigued when Ryan revealed more details from a former life. He insisted he once lived in a house in Hollywood on a street with the name Rock in it, where he had three sons and a friend named Senator Fives. What kind of fucking name is Senator Fives? Must fucking Hollywood. Uh, one day, Cindy was going through a book featuring photos from old Hollywood. Ryan peeked over her shoulder and excitedly identified one man as George and another as himself. Cindy contacted a psychiatrist from UVA Medical Center who conducts research on reincarnation. So, you know, there's fucking, you know, actual doctors out here it's yeah it's definitely being studied for sure people want answers so it's yeah. there's people out there who are trying to and, and these find are, those answers yeah, these are doctors doctors these are people that are well educated well and educated, gone to school yeah. and yeah and they're fucking diving into this reincarnation could be fucking for real all right okay but here's where it pisses me off too because all right so we have psychiatrists you know they're doctorate people mm-hmm. studying reincarnation, mm-hmm. but the there is no actual study out there of paranormal, like ghosts and shit. There's, you know, all these. Um, I'm sure there's universities studying scientists paranormal and shit, stuff. Scientists and shit like that. There, yeah. there's no actual, like, no, any kind of, yeah. Yeah, that's why they, you know, everything when they talk about paranormal and shit like that, that, uh, you know, oh, yeah, you go out there with the, your little EVP recorder trying to get phenomena, you know, voice phenomena. Uh, but there's no actual scientist that will go in there and try to back any of this stuff up. Hmm. I'm sure there's someone out there that tried. Mm-hmm. I think people are dicks. <laughs> Uh, the psychiatrist verified the man in the photo was a film star named George Raft, and the other w- man was M- Martin Martin. Yep, Martin Martin. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, who died in 1964. Upon contacting Martin's daughter, she confirmed Martin was a Hollywood agent, lived on North Roxbury Drive, had three sons, 
and once met with the New York Senator Irving Ives. After meeting with uh, Martin's daughter, Ryan lost interest in his Hollywood memories. He was standoffish at the meeting and told his mother afterwards his daughter's energy had changed. The psychiatrist's explanation? Upon seeing people from their past have moved on. Uh, Reincarnated children gain closure and forget their former existences. Hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, It's fucking nuts, man. Yeah, it is. Uh, There's just so much to try to wrap your head around. That, you know, like I said, the the story that we saw, talked about, the, the older people, I kind of poo-poo on that because, you know, they've had yeah. their entire life to maybe... Conjure up a story. Maybe there's, you know, where they probably came across a story somewhere along the line and it just kind of stuck in the back of their brain and it just kind of leaked out slowly and they kind of think they start believing it. Yeah. Well, I mean there's people that believe their own lies, you know, so I could definitely see that as, you know, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, so yeah. So uh yeah, guys, so we're going to leave you guys pondering about, you know, whether you have reincarnated. If you have been reincarnated or <laughs> think you have been reincarnated, where can you reach us? Ghostft at yahoo.com. Where is that? ghostft at yahoo.com yeah that's right ghostft at yahoo.com uh, write to us and uh, let us know your story you know uh, I, I did get a question people are like why do you guys repeat your guys' uh, oh, email yeah the email because if you repeat things three times it kind of sticks with people um, it's okay yeah it's science go and look it up <laughs> Uh, but if you if you repeat the same thing three times, it kind of gonna get stuck in their it's head. Gonna, gonna get stuck in your head like a reincarnated, um, I don't know, bread machine or something. <laughs> <clears throat> bread machine is a soul. Well, you never maybe. know. <laughs> you never know. Or maybe you're the person that invented the bread machine. You never Could know. Be. All right. So yeah, go out and write to us. Uh, or if you have any other kind of paranormal stories, go ahead and write to us as well. If you guys are listening to us on. In a podcast form uh, and if you guys are listening to this through iTunes or Apple Podcasts or what the fuck ever it's called right now <laughs> make sure to give us a rating and uh, give us a review and we will read it right here on the show uh, I did see that we had one rating cool out there, so uh, we'll, we'll read that on a future future podcast so alright it was a five star so oh nice four or five yeah whatever the highest that's what it was. Nice. So we'll read it on a future show. All right, guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe here on YouTube and hit that notification <laughs> bell. <laughs> that's not my. <laughs> oh, that's all. Oh, what? You I don't know. know what to say. What? what? To say. <laughs> hit the notification bell. Yeah, so uh, you'll be the first one to know when new videos drop. Uh, also, uh, make sure to check us out on other um, forms of media like Facebook, Instagram, and the Tick of Talk. Yep, you're a big TikToker yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a uh, Nessie even started singing in the last TikTok when we got out there. Oh, so uh, <laughs> you can go and check that one out oh. uh, and find out what happens when you pick up the bill at, at a dinner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, as always, everybody's got a story to tell yeah, yeah everybody does have a story to tell <laughs> this is really throwing you off isn't it it is i'm not in my newsroom yep. <laughs> um, and stay spooky stay spooky there right, you guys good, good night it's not good night it's good. well i'm saying good night oh, oh. good night guys yes. good night <laughs> mm-hmm.